Good evening, my high vibe soul tribe. Today we are going to go ahead and we are going to get a reading for the beautiful collective and what they need to hear at this time. Please allow me to be a seer of truth, love, light, and knowledge and look into the Castaic records for information and guidance that my beautiful collective needs to hear. This is day four, I think, of um, my little road trip adventure here. And it's going good so far. Really good traffic, good energy, good vibrations. And um, even the truck stops are really clean. I'm really appreciating that. Thank you, God. <laughs> um, yeah. So what deck am I going to use? I'm really feeling this one. Okay, so let's get a reading from my beautiful collective. What do we have? Spirit, place a cloak of protection over me and my beautiful high vibe soul tribe. Do not allow any toxic, demo demonic, or negative energy to come through at this time. Please place a cloak of protection around me and my beautiful collective as I go throughout this reading. My hair looks like crap, and I just took a shower too. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> um... Please allow me to be a seer of truth, love, light, and knowledge. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a Pisces reading, okay? I'm really feeling pulled for Pisces right now. I always feel really connected to water signs. And then we have the lover's card here, bottom of the deck, and the Hierophant, okay? So this could be a very divine connection. Um, whew, well, I just got really tired all of a sudden. Okay, for you guys out there that are driving too... I need to get tired. Please pull off on the side of the road. Yeah, it's not worth it, okay? Um, it's not worth risking your life and everybody else's. But Pisces, I do see the sun card and the lover's card here, okay? I do see a very beautiful, beautiful start for you. Um, whatever you're doing, wherever you're headed, um, it's a very beautiful new beginning for you. Um, and I do really believe, too, that you're going to be coming into union with a very di divine soulmate. Okay, if this is maybe a twin, I don't know, but all I know is it's a very divine soulmate here. Yeah, also, please watch your spending, Pisces, okay? <laughs> maybe you guys are spending just a little bit too much money, okay? You really want to watch that spending. And then, what else do we have for Pisces? Spirit? What do we have? Okay. Um, yeah, you're you're a little frustrated right here. You're finding out some uh, knowledge and, and information that, you know, it breaks your heart. Because Pisces, <laughs> you love to love. Okay? You love to love. And you, sometimes we do wear our heart on our sleeve. Oh. Oh. Maybe you guys can't even hear me because... Okay, can you hear me now? <laughs> I don't care. I'm still posting this reading. <laughs> um, Pisces, you are finding it very frustrating because of shedding the old, okay, old way of thinking, maybe an old way of thinking about a love situation. Because Pisces, you, you have those rose-colored glasses on. You love to love, okay? Um, it's time to clean those lenses, crack those. Matter of fact, just throw them away. <laughs> Just throw them away. Yes, my Pisces. It's going to be okay. Um, Pisces, you do see the good in everybody. And sometimes that is your downfall, okay? You can't help it. You just... You you come from a very powerful, okay? Very powerful, very divine um, source. And Pisces, you are very also authentic, okay? But... You do see the best in everybody, and sometimes that's your downfall because you see you can see the best in players, people that are trying to play games. You always find in a a good in a good in a bad situation. <laughs> oh yes, but you're watching your ships come in, okay? Your ships are coming in, Pisces. I'm feeling to change decks, okay? I'm just not feeling that deck, okay? You are. You are finding the best in every bad situation. You are a wounded warrior, Pisces, okay? I just split the deck right now. 
Um, you ha planted some seeds too. You manifested some very good things in your, in your life and you planted those seeds and now it is your time to watch them come to fruition. Yes. Your manifestations are on point, but you're, you know, <laughs> you've been at this for a while, Pisces. Okay. Um, it's, it's time to break off and come into the new. Okay. Because Pisces, you have a very good heart. Very good heart. Matter of fact, you 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 help and and love everyone. Yeah, look it. it. I think it's really time to bust out that childlike mentality too. Um, this is all very divinely guided here with the Hierophant. I got the Hierophant and I got the Magician. So you are on your path. You are on your path. This also could have something to do with children. Okay, children. I'm feeling children. Um, Pisces, we got to be mindful about our, uh, anxiety levels. Okay. Because when a Pisces gets anxiety, some powerful, powerful things could happen. Okay. Um, energy, energy is amazingly fucking powerful. Whenever a Pisces is sad. Okay. It could like literally bring, at least from my knowledge and point of view, because I am a Pisces. Oh, and then I just pulled the King of Cups. Um, it could also bring in the Ten of Cups, or it could bring in the the anxiety, the stress, the turmoil. So we got to be careful of our energy, Pisces, okay? You're being very guided to just stand alone. Your intuition is on point. Um, you are a Queen of Pentacles, and you have the strength here, Okay. You are also into alchemy, okay? Energetic alchemy, I'm hearing. You acquired all of these skills and knowledge and stuff because you learn how to move through troubled waters, okay? You're a very good navigator. You're a very good reader of energy, okay? You planted some very healthy seeds and you're manifesting beautiful things into your existence, Pisces. There could be a love interest out there that's also seeing this. And then... um yeah, and then we have the Ace of Swords. They're seeing the truth the truth about you and how you're this wounded warrior, how you had to walk away, and how you had to express yourself. You're expressing yourself through communication, and you're being the light and the darkness for a lot of people. Keep expressing yourself, Pisces. Even if it brings in this tower for these people, okay, you they deserve it. They deserve the truth. Um, they deserve to know the true you. Uh, even if there was a death in a situation, a death to circumstances, a death to ca uh, a karmic way that you used to deal with things, there had to be that, that death. It was, it was divinely guided. That's why you went through all of this. That is why you had to go through all these people. That's why you had to feel all this pain is to realize that, you know what, there's no fixing the past. There's no rebuilding that bridge. And this all had to happen for a reason. You were chosen to walk away for a reason. And I think it's to free people, to help people see the true truth about themselves. It was, it's, it's to help them illuminate a light and put that light on that shadow side, you know. And even if we have to accept our shadow side about ourselves, uh, there's, there's a very powerful um, energy that comes with accepting, you know. Maybe... Um, I have post-traumatic stress disorder every time I see a, a van because of the cartel and, and the Mexican cartel from living off grid. It was very scary being all by yourself and being out in the middle of the wilderness and, and watching these vans come into Southern California, you know, um, full of women and children. And, and I reported it too. I don't give a shit. Uh-uh. You ain't going to come up in here like that and me not report. No, I reported it. And then I never seen those vans again. So thank you, God, and thank you, authorities out there that do watch my channel and listen to my messages. I really appreciate that um, because there's there's gifts that Pisces has, okay, that can unfold and, and shine a spotlight on a lot of dark situations because Pisces are like the ones that jump into the fire. They'll dive into hell and they'll pull people out. And they'll also call players out on their shit, too. Uh, Pisces could fucking spot a player or somebody being childish from a mile away. Okay? Um, 
Pisces, you're worth a lot. You are worth a lot. And you are a very divine person that deserves love and peace and happiness and family. I'm hearing lots of family. Okay. I have the 10 of cups here and then I have the six of cups here. This represents children. Okay. There will be a happy new beginning with children. Okay. Um, you just have to stay positive Pisces and you have to stay the course. Okay. Sometimes we have to put horse blinders on. Okay. And walk in our true path and our power. But you know what? What doesn't kill us makes us stronger. Okay, so if you guys also would like a reading, please look down in the description boxes below of my videos. It tells you how you were able to get a hold of me. Okay, I do readings through Facebook Instant Messenger. You could also pay me on Facebook Instant Messenger. If you want to try to get a hold of me, my Facebook is no longer Gypsy Healer. Okay, I got hacked. I had a bunch of Luciferians freaking that somehow I was subscribed to all these Luciferian channels and stuff like that. And I'm not, I never subscribed to that shit. I would never do that. Um, but I found it on gypsy healers handle. So you know what? I just don't even go on there no more. I just, uh, now I have a new, uh, Facebook it's called, uh, justice healer, justice healer. Okay. And my picture from this channel, my picture on this channel will be on justice healer. So that's how you'll be able to find me. Whew. Get some rest to Pisces. Okay, get some rest because I can feel that you guys are very tired. And it's probably because a lot of people are sending a lot of shit your way. But you know what? You, you're strong. you got discernment. You know how to cut shit out of your life. And we're not looking in the past anymore. We're moving forward and we're going to find our king of wands. Yes, we are. Okay. So, um, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and pull a love Oracle for Pisces. What does Pisces has coming in for love? What does Pisces have coming in for love at this time? What does Pisces have coming in for love at this time? Let's see. Shall we, shall we see? <laughs> okay. Let's see. What does Pisces have coming in for love spirit? Please give me a reading. Give me a couple cards for Pisces coming in love. What does Pisces have coming in for them in love? Oh, it says very soon. Okay, I got a couple here. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay. And then we have attraction. Attraction. Pisces, you're standing in your power and you're attracting a lot of suitors. You're attracting a lot of energy. You could have also a lot of um, offers coming in. If you have a platform, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, whatever. If you have a following, um, you are attracting. I have a feeling that your lover is watching you. And not in a bad way. Not in a toxic way. Not in a weirdo way. Um, your lover's attracting. You're attracting your lover. Your energy vibration you put out, it has calmed down a lot. Okay? Um, it used to be like really vulgar. Very um, vulgar, very snappy, you know, but, um, I think that was because there was like some kind of, um, energetic alchemy going on there of dark magic, not white magic, dark magic. And somebody was trying to make you step out of your character, but I could see that you're calming down now and you're, you're seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and you're attracting your, because the more you see this light, the more your divine counterpart sees this light as well. Okay. And it says it is safe for you to love. <laughs> Oh, Pisces, don't make me cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. Pisces. Yes, it is safe for us to love. And us Pisces, we love to love. We love to love. Okay. And that's how we end up usually getting hurt because we do. We flirt. We fall. We love. We love. It says extend your lighthearted energy to others. Okay, I'm hearing one more, one more, and that's it. I'm going to close this reading and get on the road. Oh, 15. Okay. It says free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. Okay, so new beginnings, new house, new, new partnership, new something, new, new, new. I'm hearing new, everything new, everything new. No more old energy. And then we got flirt on the bottom of the deck again. So you know what? Go out there, Pisces. 
make somebody's day. Tell them how handsome they are. Tell them how beautiful they are. Okay? And don't be afraid because, yeah, do we dive in head first sometimes and we have rose-colored glasses on? Yes, we do. But we also bounce back like spring chickens and we're back in the flow of things again and there is somebody out there for everybody so don't put all your eggs in one basket anymore Pisces and then you won't get hurt and it's that simple okay so you do have love coming in you just need to stay positive and strong and wherever you're going or whenever you get to where you're going or you know maybe you're not going anywhere maybe you're just attracting who you want it's gonna come in soon okay I promise I love you guys so much Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And my stomach just growled, so go get something to eat. Yeah. <laughs> I love you guys. Bye.